like scope showing you this whole building I've just gone past. It says Braslin Sunday School. Looks very old. Just to get a quick scope, see if anybody comes in. Living the Stoke on Trent, the home of the potteries. That's an old uh, pottery company called Wade. That's the old factory there. That looks abandoned. Just showing you this looks amazing. Look at this. That's something from uh, from Greece. That's the old Burzum Sunday School. That's a church. And uh, I'll just make my way to uh, a meeting point. And uh, just got about 20 minutes I can scope. Just show you a few little interesting things in the town of Burzum and the potteries. I've already done a little scope this morning showing you a few historical things. And I've just done some. Uh, just run some errands and then uh, I've just got past another 15 minutes for my next errand so I'll just show you a few a few little bits that looks an old pub White Hart pub it's got an old date on it that's the date 1890 it's an old building who's that? hello good morning Indian just doing another short scope a bit later than the other one because some of my viewers and on there uh, some American viewers are probably still asleep because I did a, a scope early this morning just got about 10 minutes to show you a few of the old buildings I don't think that's the original colour lime green yeah it's lots of history this is Burslem home of uh, Royal Dalton a lot of these old pubs this is part of the uh, Stoke on Trent all the old buildings to show a few of the old buildings. Lots of old buildings in this town. Just a short scope. To see if anybody's coming on. I think that's a bank. That's an old building. A little bit of sound of traffic now. We're just in the middle of the, sound, in the, middle of the town. It's a bit windy. You might hear a bit of wind. I'll just give you a little five minute tour of the town. Lots of old buildings to show you. Charlie for some uh, that's the old bank, that's a bank building. That's an old pub, the Duke of Duke, Duke William. That's an old pub, look at that. Yeah, just give you a little five minute scope. A few interesting things. Some of the old buildings. There's a the town square. done one this morning to see if any different people come on I'll just show you the town hall this is another old building and if you're aware of ceramics and you've heard of Royal Dalton we've got a statue of uh, a statue of Henry Dalton who started the Dalton pottery factory Royal Dalton that's no longer exists and that's the old town hall look at that for an old building There's Henry Dalton's house, that's his house there. And then I'll just show you the statue. There's an old theatre that's a derelict now, an old theatre we've got there. That's Burzum Theatre that's abandoned. Lots of old buildings. I'll just show you this Henry Dalton statue. Check the time, quarter to one. That's Henry Dalton. So Henry Dalton, 1820 to 1897. That's the. Uh, that's just a little overview of the town of Burslem in Stoke on Trent. It's an old building. Just show you a little bit of the history while I'm on a little walk. Uh, let's see what time it is. Just trying to pace myself. And we'll, uh, let's go have a walk down here. See what's at the bottom of the town. 
Oh, there is a nice thing that I can show you down here or down there. I'm just trying to think right through there. Right across the road. It's Burzum School of Art as well, that's an old building. Yes, I, come, I don't live in this town now. I, I, um, I'm just trying to pass some time. Uh, as I say, if I, I do a full scope of the town when there's people watching, but uh, I don't want to do a full history scope with nobody watching. So, uh, it's quite cold in the UK today, the sun's come out. But, uh, I'll do more of the historic things more in the summer, I think. It's, uh, it's quite cold in the UK. So, I'll give you a little overview of the, some of the local towns where I live. Hey, Derby's in. Shit. Let's go where. Uh, let me just press the button. I think I just press the button. I know. It's Derby's tradition. Always come on when I've shown everything. <laughs> Where's she gone? Hello, Derby. Just passing through one of my local towns. I just showed you that nice town hall there. Look at that. Just showed the statue of Henry Dalton from the Dalton factory, you know, Royal Dalton. Just got five minutes to pass, so I'll just show you a few of the bits, you know. Look at that for a cool thing. It's like a water fountain. Yeah, I've just been on one of my, uh, my daily walks with a walking group. And uh, it's in Burslem today, so I've just been on about. I've just been walking for about two hours, so uh, <laughs> I've just arranged a lift. A lift in. Oh, hang on, this is slippy. I've just arranged a lift in there. Uh, about fifteen minutes. There's one, an old old public house. Look at that. Yeah, this is Burslem. For anybody who doesn't know the potteries, one of the five towns: Burslem, Tunstall, Fenton, Longton, and Hanley. Yeah. So there's not much here as like a, a shopping town. We've got a Titanic brewery. There's lots of pubs. There's lots of pubs. And uh, we've got a Titanic brewery because Captain Smith of the Titanic was uh, was born around the corner from my house. So we have a Titanic brewery. And I was just going to show you down this street before I go and meet me lift. Just trying to pace the time. Yeah, you can't really call it a shopping town. I say it's it's like a lot of towns. It's uh, all the sort of retail's gone. It's just lots of nice buildings. There's Hanley in the distance. You can see Hanley there. That's the town where I live over there. So I've just been on my two-hour nature and exercise walk. I'll just show you the Burzum School of Art. It's another very nice building. Before I finish, if you want, look it up. Look up Burzum. There's them in Stoke-on-Trent, lots of history. I can't show you everything. I'll just give you a little overview. This is a nice building. We just a cut a stone's throw from the Dalton factory, but that's been knocked down now, if you've heard of Royal Dalton. I say, it's just you've got to try and avoid all the, a lot of empty buildings. I'll just show you the, the Burzum School of Art. This is well-known building. There's an old hotel as well. Apparently, there's, a, there's an Alec Guinness film called The Card, C-A-R-D, the card, and that was filmed all around Burslem. So I'll give you an idea of how it used to look. I hope this comes across on scope all right. There's, uh, there's two nice buildings I'm just going to show you. I'm just trying to get it in the shot. So that's one of them. And you can see this, this is the Burslem School of Art. Look at all this. I'll just show you the building and then I'll... Uh, it's got loads of panels on it. Look at all these panels. It's just a quick overview today because I haven't got much time, so there you go. There's lots of nice panels. I don't know what they all mean, but uh, you can see there's loads of loads of panels. There's a doorway, look at that. Just trying to 
a bit of an overview. I haven't got much time, so I'm always, I'm always rushing. I thought I'd just give you a quick scope and nothing at all. Uh, there we go, there's the clock tower. There we are, I've got 10 minutes. <laughs> right, let's just cross the road and show you the other building on the other side. There's lots of history, I'll have to do some research on this. I haven't been in this town for ages. Uh, there's another building on the opposite side. I think it's all part of the Burzum School of Art, it's well known for that. It's got, oh, it does say there, School of Art, yeah, it does say that, 1905. Burzum School of Art. Yeah, there I say there is, uh, I'll say there's a lot of rundown house buildings, you know, but there are some nice ones. There's a George Hotel, that's an old hotel there on the corner. That's a very old hotel, but I remember there's a there's a film called The Card from 1952. And uh, it was filmed in Burslem, I believe. Yeah. yeah. It's a very old town, lots of history. This foundation stone of this building was laid by the Right Honourable Earl of Dartmouth, 9th of February 1906. There we go. Yeah, opened by the mayor October 1907. Just thought I'd just give you a little, uh, little taste of Burslem while I'm passing through. Uh, so I'm just going to meet my lift in about 10 minutes. And then I'll, uh, the weather's trying to pick up a bit. It's been raining all morning. Obviously I feel full of, uh, feel full of energy because I've just done a two hour walk. And, uh, I'll just look at the time, so we've got about three hours of daylight, so I'll just leave you in a few minutes. So we've been here for five minutes, I might do another scope, we've got another three hours of daylight. It's getting quite windy today, so I just keep trying to quit scopes in new places to see if there's a, if the sort of reception's okay. So there's lots of history in my area, lots of obviously, uh, decay but you've got to try and uh, point out all the nice things. There's a nice view of the city of Stoke over there. There's a church in Hanley. Thanks for the hearts everybody. Thanks for the hearts. Send me some of your, anybody who lives in warm places, send me some of your sunshine. It's, uh, there's some history. Let's get that thing there, there's some history. Oh, there's 20 places to find, that's 3 of 20. Mother Town Marvel, celebrating the genius and creativity of Burzum. I'll have to find all the other ones another time. That's number 3. Let's just take a... Uh, yeah, let's just take a photo of that. Right, let me just... Uh, let me just take a photo of that. Yeah, so this isn't... Uh, none of this is planned, they're just doing... <laughs> I just do random scopes wherever I happen to be. See me in the window. Hello. Yeah, just a little quick off the cuff scopes. Nothing's planned. I'm not a planning person. <laughs> yeah, that's the town square anyway. I'll just give you a quick overview of there. Good morning, Indians back again. I don't know if we saw the reception is. Keep giving me some feedback. Uh, I'm just trying to coordinate me uh, meeting somebody in five minutes. So, uh, so oh God, that's bloody slippy! God Almighty! Ooh. They're very dangerous. Them, uh, them stones are very slippy. Oh, it's like there was ice on them. I mean, these are okay. I don't know why they put them down. These uh, reception is great. Good. Let me just check the. Uh, let me just check the comments. I said we're surrounded by pottery. I'll always do your history, history scopes. There's a brown sign. I'm always looking for brown signs. Middleport Pottery and Bailey. It's just hard to show you a lot at the moment because obviously everywhere's closed. So, uh, so 
necessary because we're in lockdown in the UK. So, I mean, here's a nice little thing I can show you. We'll just buy main roads. You'll have a little bit of road noise for a few minutes. Same with the heart of the potteries. It's no content. So, uh, that's what I thought I would... Uh, what I thought I'd try and scope and share with you. Just trying to show you this nice mirror on the wall. Get away from this busy road. That's another mirror. I'll come back when the weather's better because they say it's quite cold today. So I'll just give you a quick overview. I'll return when the weather's better. There's a nice little uh, little pottery thing at the side of the road that you just drive past unless you're walking. I've only seen these things because I'm walking. It's obviously the home of the coal mines and the pottery industry. This sculpture by John McKenna was restored by Burzum History Club in 2015. There's a nice view of where I can't just walk from all over there. <laughs> That's just where I've walked from all over there. Yeah. So I'll say I'm full of beans now. I'm saying I'm going to do another scope, but I don't know. I've just done a I've just done a two hour two hour walk. Uh, so uh, I'll just end on that. And I see Derby, and I said I'll uh, I'd ask you to ring him when I'm going to finish the scope now. I'll, I'll try and find another scope. I'll travel somewhere else and do another scope in the next. Uh, Within the next three hours, I'll do another scope somewhere. Okay, folks, I'll go now. I'm getting cold. Make sure you follow me. I need a hot drink. That reminds me to tell you, I'm on buymeacoffee.com forward slash Jason Who. If you'd like to contribute to the channel and keep me warm on these cold winter monster scoping and it supports the channel, makes it uh, more traveling involved and more places to show you where you have to pay to get in. So it all helps to keep the channel going. And, uh, I can feel my scoping hand going numb now. <laughs> uh, make sure you follow me on YouTube, Jace the Who on YouTube. I put a lot of my periscopes on there on YouTube. And uh, I try to do daily scopes, weather dependent. About this time of day in the UK, between about 12 and 12 and 4 p.m. UK time. Okay, folks, thanks for watching. Nice to see everybody in. Make sure you catch the replays and they'll... Uh, I might do another scope a bit later, I might feed the birds a bit later. I haven't fed the birds for a few days. Okay folks, bye for now, stay safe. Yeah, the sun's come out so uh, I'll just end on that sun. The sun's finally come out. Okay folks, see you soon.